We are on the final activity in Code Monkey Junior Advanced Procedures, or Procedures, but we're on Advanced Procedures number 15. Um, for most of you, I would imagine this is your last activity of the whole course. So while it looks super simple, we do have to remember that after one of these, we're going to need to jump up, even though we don't see a lot of jump up. So let's see. I'm gonna go, hmm. We're on the green. So I'm gonna have the green go get the banana over here first. I was really torn about which banana to get first, but I guess I'm gonna get this one so I don't have to pass the treasure and come back. So to get the treasure, we're gonna go one, two, to get to this green. But then at this green, we're gonna go one, two, and then we need to jump up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a one, two, and a jump up. And that should get us to that banana. Now our blue is gonna to need to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we know our blue is gonna to need to go three in this direction. Now here's the question. What about when we're coming back? Well, let's take a look. After we get this banana and we go this way to get this banana, what color will we be standing on? Will we be standing on? Green. So coming back towards the treasure, let's see what the monkey's gonna do. One, two, jump up. One, two, jump up. One, two, look at that, jump up. So I was a little worried about making sure I got to, the, to jump up at the treasure. I didn't, but we took care of that by just starting like we're supposed to at the beginning, what do we want the monkey to do first? Sometimes worrying about the end only gets in the way. So let's run it. When we get to this activity, or to the end of this activity, your button will take you back to the home screen. Oh wow, look at that. And achievements are unlocked. So you can see you've got the little house here, which will show you that you have finished both courses or both sections in the course. To go back to your home page, you click there, which for me is a little different. Now, if you have checks on all of your Code Monkey Junior and you're in my class, and you're ready to begin the next one, which you should double check with me, there's a video that we watch before we begin, and that's on our TED Lab Links page. So your coding videos would now be Beaver Achiever videos. So you would come to the Beaver Achiever videos and you would watch under required videos in each section you're required to watch these. So for starters, you would watch Beaver Achiever intro and sequences and loops one through 10. After you come and do activities one through 10, when you get to activity 11, you're gonna watch this video. These videos will teach you about the new blocks you're going to be use, using. 
And if you get stuck, we have extra help videos to help you. Congratulations on reaching the end of your CodeMonkey Junior courses.